Hello everyone, welcome back to Lostistan. Yep, this is the uh, workers and resources in the Soviet Republic. Okay, so uh, I've wandered forward just a little bit to let uh, a little bit of construction complete. Uh, so now uh, we're on the final phase on the train aggregate unloading here, uh, which is uh, just down to workers. Uh, the aggregate storage for the coal is uh, complete. And we have a traffic jam. And yeah, so it, it, we've got uh, workers here. So with this in the state it's at, and the resources topped up here, I'm going to uh, go over here into the rail and start off the rail construction. Which means that our fancy um, widget here should appear coming out here and start building things. And there it goes. Uh, and something has stopped production, which is uh, probably because it has no workers. Probably. Um, right. Uh, okay. We have a new vehicle available. And we have a new ve last chance on a vehicle. And we have a traffic jam. Okay, right, yes. Uh, so now we have rail construction underway, uh, and that's uh, that's just going to tick along for a bit here. I can speed that up by increasing the worker count in here, but it can just tick along here. Now, what we need to do, though, is add a uh, rail depot somewhere. Yeah, that's uh, a little bit more of a challenge than one might think. Um, though it doesn't really need to be, does it? Um, I mean, I could put it, well, I should put it somewhere. Uh, you know what? I'm going to put it over here and I'm also going to dual track some stuff here. Uh, right. So if we dual track it out of the, uh, oh, we need to snap for this to work. No, if we dual track it, uh, no. Uh, if we dual track it, you know what? Take this stuff out back to, to a distance. Yeah. Okay, if because the uh, constructor's not going to get there for a while. So if we do that, and we leave a gap, and then we uh, dual track it around this way. Yeah. Yeah, because we, we want to avoid uh, queuing here when we have multiple trains. Uh, oh. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring it all the way up to the filling station here. And I'll split the track about here. And we'll come up to about here. Uh, turn off the snapping and connect that in there. Yep. Uh, we've already filled up with uh, fuel here. Uh, but the... Uh, pipe is going to be in the way here. Wait. Can I sneak that through without rebuilding the pipe? Uh, no. Um, okay. No, can I, if I were to do this, and then, uh, no. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll do this. We'll go back in here. And we will go in the pipes. Take that bit out. Right? And we'll go back over here. And we'll bring... Uh, the snapping back in here. And then... 
Uh, then we come in here. Yeah. Now we can go back to the pipes and grab this. And problem solved. We'll just build that one with rubles. Okay, that gets us the uh, a bit of dual track here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the uh, train depot right here by the border. Uh, okay, so we're going to go in here. Uh, if we go with a long train depot, and if we put it in, I don't know, say like this, Yeah, we'll put it right here. Then we need to get a track out of here. Uh, bring it out about that far, and then we bring it around. Come up like this. And then... I think we only we need to launch it... Only need to launch trains this way. Yeah, I think we only need to launch trains that way. Okay, and bring them back from, we might need to bring them back from the other direction, but no, that'd be a pain in the ass to build that, uh, that track, so I'm not going to. Okay, so you uh, connect like that, and you connect like that. Good. Okay. So now we'll instruct that to get constructed. And then we need to build a road. And I th I'm just going to asphalt this road. Why? Uh, because. I, we, we have our own bitumen supply. So seriously, it, it doesn't make any sense... Uh, not to, uh, since we're producing our own gravel and our own uh, bitumen, uh, we don't need to uh, worry about the uh, cost of uh, the materials anymore. And a plain asphalt road without the uh, street furniture with the traffic lights uh, can be built entirely without... Uh, um, uh, workers, uh, also. Uh, right, okay, so we'll we'll uh, leave that uh, ticking along. It can construct itself. We need power down here, uh, also. As you see here, building is without power supply. So uh, we'll also sort that out. So that's just going to need one of these, uh, which we can stick. Uh, we can stick it right about here, I would think. Blam. Okay. And uh, we're going to need a wire coming. Oh. We're going to need a power transformer as well. Yep. We're going to need a power transformer. Uh, okay. Well, we can put one right here. Uh, we can put one right here. Yeah. Okay. And then that means that we need to connect that. Yeah, we'll also get that queued for construction. Um, yeah, now this does give us an interesting problem. No, it doesn't. Not really. Where are we getting our power from? right here okay so we need to put a, a power switch in here okay well that's going to be under high voltage and put a high voltage switch uh, just like this in fact bam and then Oh, we're going to want a uh, road up to that, too. Okay, 
just like that. Okay, build that. Okay, so I think we can go ahead and let those uh, roads and other bits and bobs construct themselves. But in the meantime, we have one bit of power line. That's 18 megawatts, that's 12 megawatts. We could do an underground one. Yeah. Okay. And we could run it along some infrastructures in the way. We could run it. No. Close that. Uh, I think we need to go uh, no. No. Uh, we need to turn off snapping. Uh, e. That's going. No, I guess we're not going to do that. Okay, we'll use the above ground one. Um, we're splitting the power there, but uh, we'll just use the big power line. Okay, so it's going to come down this way. And come up to there. We'll run it along the uh, the rail. Uh, like this. Oh, right. Uh, what uh, we should probably do is put a switch right here as well. Yeah. A switch is probably good there. Connect that. Connect that. Okay, we'll build that. We're going to need a road into there. Now we should be able to bring it off of here. And then bring it across. Yeah, just like that. That should work. Now we bring this out a little bit further bring that out yep we can take that out and that will work it's not perfect but it will work so we'll build that okay so that gets a whole bunch of more stuff queued up yep and these uh, these roads will uh, will build themselves ultimately um, do we have dumpers on the way? Yeah, we do. Okay. Okay, so that stuff will, uh, will do its thing. Now, bitumen's building up. But that's fine. Wait, did we get more people working? We got more people working in the oil refinery. Um, and we've cleared our backlog. So I kind of need to go looking for more oil, don't I? Uh, yeah, I kind of do. Okay. Right. Now let's go look over here. We have built a rail that goes all the way around like this. Uh-huh. And our aggregate station is uh, completed there. And we need power over here. Right. Okay. Well, we can do that. Uh, we need... One of these and we have power slots there so we're going to put a the power uh, thingy right here okay and then we're going to grab one of these and we'll bring this across just like so and we'll build it okay 
So we've queued up way too much stuff that's going to take way too long to build, right? And that's perfectly fine. Uh, but as we can see here, we've got uh, paving going on here on our roads. Uh, I will pave the, uh, the road here at some point. Uh, but this, this road is probably going to need to be paved um, uh, by uh, money. Uh, so I don't block the uh, all of the transport there, right? This segment there really isn't uh, space, you know, it isn't um, uh, the capability really to uh, to do anything else, uh, and still maintain the traffic. We can't really cut that traffic off. Okay. Um, so we have dual track up there at the border. Um, and we just have stuff doing its thing over here. Okay. Right, we just about have everything sorted out there. That's gonna finish that track. What are we building here? Uh, concrete rail? Yeah, looks like it, okay. Okay, so we got that bit done, that bit done. We got these bits to do. Yep, it shouldn't, uh, we shouldn't have created any deadlock points here. So uh, it should finish all of its construction without causing trouble. Good. Uh, we're building a road there. This just needs people to finish. Okay. Uh, where are we? We are, of course, uh, building roads. When this switch finishes, I'll pause it, rejig the uh, power connector business here, and I'll buy that. And then uh, everything should be should be good. Okay. Now let's take a look. Oh, we have lots of workers waiting there. So, uh, yeah. Uh, we've got plenty of uh, workers that we can ship off to other places to do things. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. Um, well, let's take a look at our stuff in here. Uh, we are allowing maximum employment there. Uh, we're allowing maximum employment. I don't think I uh, reduced any of the employment numbers. Well, I did there. Uh but that seems like it's fine. Let's uh, let's just get some research going at the university. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll get research going at the university. Now, uh, we got a new vehicle. And a traffic jam. And a new vehicle. Okay, so now I was uh, thinking uh, since the last part that I kind of want to set up a new uh, city location. Uh, now, if we look at the map, I kind of want to set something up a little more central, like say in this, uh, in this point here uh, between the rivers. Uh, now, there's... There is iron near there. Uh, there's coal uh, within reach. Uh, there's oil there. Uh, uranium's in reach. No bauxite. Okay, so that does look like a good location to set up a uh, a town. Uh, so I'm I'm kind of thinking that if we go over here. There's our point in the river. Uh, close that. Close that. Click the right thing. So here's our point in the river. So I was thinking we could set up a town in over here. Uh, and that uh, is going to require some roads and rail and everything coming into here, right? So uh, I was thinking it might be, uh, you know, sort of, let's take a look at the uh, topology here. 
We've got a fairly steep bank there. Um, now we're definitely out of uh, range of our uh, uh, bulldozers and stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so the idea here is uh, uh, we'll get a uh, a local construction office. Say say we'll uh, drop it over here. Uh, we'll pay for it, and uh, we'll we'll let it. Uh, um, I think we'll let it do its own. Uh, hmm. We'll need an independent uh, power source over there as well. Because uh, I don't want to bring a high voltage line all the way over here uh, just for the construction, right? So, okay, so if we're going here and we're going here and grab uh, just a plain old construction office and just, uh, I don't know, drop it here, right? And uh, we'll... Uh, what is, um, okay, now let's go in here, buildings, buildings, no, um, resources, okay, so that get, brings it all the way over to there, uh, okay. Uh, so we're going to rename this to Point City. Right. Okay. Okay, so that uh, Point City comes all the way out, out to here. Okay. So Point City is going to be our new, uh, our, our new thing here. Now I'm going to, I'm going to fund that. Right. And then we're going to buy uh, excavators. Now we have 22, 33. We're going to buy uh, four of those. Uh, and we're also going to, we're going to here uh go into here and we're going to uh initially uh we're going to purchase a small amount of fuel with uh rubles manual purchase right um i'm going to purchase 20 tons manually okay and that's going to uh fuel our uh, our stuff there now we're also going to uh, go in here no it's going to be in here uh power energy related uh and now we've got these windmills uh, a small wind power plant uh it should be enough to uh, provide some power to uh to the construction office right so if we were to build that. So we've got enough power to uh, uh, to uh, fuel up the uh, excavators. Okay. Now, I'm going to uh, use a trick here. Uh, which is to see, well, first of all, no, I'm going to uh, also purchase some bulldozers. Uh, so that's level 28, 22. Yeah, okay. So we got a stack of those. Now, I'm going to go in here, and we're going to level out the uh, main area here so that we can terrain height from center. Uh, so that we can... You can do our uh, development, right? 
So yeah, so we'll just grab our uh, leveling and then we can do a whole bunch of it, right? Uh, now the whole reason for doing this is just so that we can uh, have a, a better uh, um, build uh, experience. And as you can see, we're getting pretty good um, leveling here with the dozers. Uh, until we start getting to the uh, larger uh, steps, right? Uh, okay. Let's... Uh, uh, Point City. Okay, that gives us the um, that gives us our the extent of our uh, region there. Right, so we can uh, we can flatten out a whole bunch of stuff here. Uh, okay. Yeah, so this is not terribly exciting. So I'll do a bit of this, and then uh, we'll go back over to uh, Oil City there, Oil Field. And then take a look at what's going on there. So I'm going to bring this basically up to, up to the edge of the water, about to there. Right? And we can uh, fill it in. Yep. Right. So the trick I was going to show you, and I'm not sure if it's going to uh, work here. Uh, no, it's not there. It's uh, We'll find it in here. Uh, if we look at a large aggregate storage, so if we uh, if we come over here and it says uh, need L use LMB to flatten, so we can use this. It uses the excavators, and as you can see, this is faster than the uh, bulldozers, and it's using only four excavators, right? Uh, so using the excavators to do major terraforming here. Uh, it can make a huge uh, difference in the uh, in the speed, right? Uh, right. So, right. Uh, now, it does mean that uh, it might pick the wrong level, right? But once you've made a major uh, difference in your uh, levels. Then the bulldozer leveling here uh, can go uh, faster, right? Uh, so that's the idea, right? Uh, so I'm going to uh, bail out of that. That's enough of that. That's uh, that's tedious. So we've got this big flat area here now, where we can build, start planning our new uh, city, right? That's that. That's that. Okay. Now we're going to go back over to uh, here. Right, turn off the ugly, and see where we're we're at with our uh, other stuff here. Okay, so we have our our roads uh, constructed here. This is constructed. Okay, so I'm going to uh, pause the game, and we're going to bring up the power here, high voltage, and we're going to take this power line out. And we're going to build this connection. And we're going to rebuild that. Oh, no, 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 no. What we're going to do is take that out as well. And we're going to build this connection, right? And then we will build, we will build those with rubles. Okay. Now, 
that should mean that the rest of our power setup still works. And I think it means we have power here. I think we were overloaded for uh, power over here. Uh, were we? Where's the... Uh, what if we look in here and we look in buildings and we look for uh, power substation? Okay, so this one is still overloaded. Okay, uh, so that's something that we can sort out here. Uh, overloaded power stations. We have a traffic jam. Okay, and we built this uh, substation here so we can go and drop in. Uh, we can drop in uh, some more power uh, buildings here. So if we go in here, I think we can probably drop a substation eh, probably here. Uh, yeah. Um, let's just build that. Now, uh, if I was doing this uh, for my own uh, uh, game, I might, uh, I might just uh, let it build and then adjust things. But uh, since uh, I don't want this to take three forevers, uh, I just uh, went ahead and uh, just pay for it, right? Okay, so now we're under 90% there on this one. Okay, and this one is under 90%. Uh, this one is at 41%. That one is at 75. Um, 53. Okay, so I think that sorts out. We had an overload over here, so. Uh, we uh, appear to be short on kindergarten spaces as well. Uh, okay. Yeah, we are majorly short on kindergarten spaces. So we will also... That's education related. Kindergarten. Can we uh, squeeze another one in here? No. Uh, we can squeeze one in here, though. Uh, yep, we can squeeze one there. Uh, we're going to need a road up to it. And you know what? I'm just going to pave roads now. Uh, so we can bring it up straight up like this. And connect that. Okay. And we'll let that road just build. Okay. Okay. And we're building a train, our train depot here which is uh, collect it's going to take a lot of uh, resources to build and we're delivering them meanwhile the uh, train construction business thing here is over here uh, have we built we built half of our loop here and we're now working on our main line down to the uh, the uh, uh, thing <laughs> Uh, the, the border post. That's what it is. It's a border post. Now here, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, we're probably fine there. We can let that uh, spend uh, a while uh, constructing its uh, business here. But what's this? Medium voltage switch. Right. Uh, okay. Now at some point, I'll probably want to rejig this with another... Uh, um, gravel processing plant and all that so it'd be rejigging the whole area right um but i'm not going to do that just just at the moment now let's just take a look here we have 800 tons of bitumen there and uh, we're going through the fuel as fast as we uh we we uh, make it but i think that's just because we're exporting it um now if we go and look here um Huh. Okay, so we're building the road there. Uh, we've built this right. We're missing resources. Related vehicles. 
Yeah. It's bringing it. It's going to bring it in on the uh, walking paths. Yeah. Looks like. Okay. Yeah, that road's going to. Oh, yeah, we're bringing stuff into here still. Um, we need 30 tons of bricks, 12 tons of boards. That stuff should be largely on its way. Okay, so far so good. Uh, we have a new vehicle available. And we have too much unemployment. Okay, right. Uh, overall, let's just check in on our uh, citizen status here. Uh, okay, so happiness is all around 98, 99%. So that's good. Health is uh, low-ish for some reason. Why is health low-ish? Let's... Um, we've got the uh, workers to support a fully staffed uh, hospital. So let's do that. Okay. Let's uh, take a look at... Okay, yeah, that that's fine. Um, why are we down around 80%? Uh, workers without a job, no kindergarten, unable to get meat. Ah. Are we even delivering meat here? Okay, let's uh, let's take a look in here. Soviet chums meat delivery. Uh, where are you? No, where are you? You are here. You are not connected to a uh, meat storage thing. No. That's the delivery. Unload 100% of everything. There's no pickup. Okay. We need to add a pickup point. Uh, where's the meat storage? Um, yeah. And we need to uh, load... Okay. That might uh that might help things here. Now, if we look at if we look at this one. Right. Okay, we're bringing meat and our uh, shop over here. What are you? Kindergarten, right. Now our shop over here. It has meat that is going to possibly help some things. Yeah, health. Is the health going to go up as a result of that? Oh, we've probably got pollution. Yeah, we've probably got pollution from this thing. Right, okay.
That would reduce the health. Okay. Now let's just check in our population. We have 58 uh, working age people that uh, can't uh, go and live anywhere. Uh, and that's fine uh, for the moment. Okay. Uh, we're doing okay there. We have a traffic jam. And a new vehicle type. Yeah, okay. So, how's our rail construction doing? We're working our way along the uh, the rail line. Good. Our money's still going up. That's good. Uh, we have our uh, train depot. Yep. Uh, that's good. What are you? Ah, right. You will ultimately need to uh, uh, connect into the rail. Uh, not sure how I'm going to do that or if I'm going to do that uh, anytime soon. I know I had plans there. don't remember what they are. Um, right. Okay. So far, things are... Things are progressing reasonably. Right. So I think I'll uh, I'll look on uh, look into planning the uh, new area next time, maybe, unless I get distracted by more squirrels. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. So we've we've got things running a little bit better here. Uh. We've still got 99 citizens were not able to get meat. Oh, right. Yeah, that's only updated daily, isn't it? Uh, right. I think... What's this? That's a hospital. Okay. And in here... Yeah, everybody's unable to get meat. Health is doing its thing. Right. Yeah, if we bring this back up. Health. Health is not in, not changing, but it doesn't seem to be going down all that much either. Right. So ideally, uh, we should have... Uh, we shouldn't have the the uh, population living right beside our uh, refinery there. Uh, you know, so that's the the uh, situation there. Uh, relatively uh, minor uh, uh, scenario, but it will uh, it it will of course impact things. Right. Well, uh, I think we've uh, gone on long enough for this, this part. So, yeah, uh, next time around, if we uh, bring back the mini-map, uh, probably uh, I'll be uh, messing about with planning some stuff here. And I'm going to end up running, I think, passenger rail. And, uh, yeah, passenger rail uh, into here. Uh if we can get a fast enough, um, oh right, there's an oil field down here. Right, I'm gonna leave the map centered here. We'll probably deal with this next time. Uh, <laughs> right. Um, oh, I think I was going to collect it and then bring it in by rail. Right, and this is a loading and unloading, so I could unload it from here and feed it into uh, here with a pipeline. Uh, let's just uh, see. Um, yeah, I could unload the fuel or the oil and feed it back around into here. Yeah, yeah, I could do that, maybe. Probably won't. Uh, anyway. Right, so I'll, I'll leave it centered here at, uh, what is that, Mazina? Yeah. 
and uh, and then we'll bring that in, uh, bring that up up here uh, to our refinery. Yeah, now we've got we've got enough people at the refinery that we can certainly handle a higher input. Okay, so I'm going to leave everything centered here, and uh, yeah. That's going to be all for this time. So uh, the usual like, comment, subscribe, you know, maybe hit dislike instead if you prefer. And the bell thing may or may not give you some notifications, which you may or may not want. Uh, and aside from that, uh, see you back next time.